get off of it. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh. So it's your against her, huh? Uh -huh. You're the guy that makes throws her off ultimately. Is there any that don't work that the fast fast doesn't work with? It always works. <laughs> Seventeen pounds at the age of 16 and had a 42 inch waistline and I finally learned I'm up to 166 now I was at 159 but I managed to maintain my weight I went back to 211 in 2001 I knew I was getting fat because I couldn't reach my so I got down to 186 for 2003 and you just learn to count your calories and I just, my secret is I don't have anything in the house I want to binge on. Well, that's one of the things that people do. There's, there's also, you know, having people to talk to, having support. Right. So that's one of the things that Overeaters Anonymous offers. And you know something that I use? It's an expensive thing called Wilshire Farms Calorie-Free Chocolate Syrup. Okay. So every morning I have a, this cup of coffee with twice like chocolate and it has no calories. So oh, I get a caffeine buzz. There's another thing called sugar-free Vermont syrup. Amazing how far a little teaspoon that has 15 calories will go on French toast. So you just learn, you, know, you avoid the fried foods and the less, the less. Well, you know, there are many reasons why people eat. Sometimes it's not what you're eating, sometimes it's what's eating you. So that's what it is. You're, what I, you're when eating, I was not, a teenager. not what you're eating, but I, why you're I, eating. I took refuge in food when I was yeah, a teenager this dealing kind of with program being gay. Is. This is what this program is yeah, about. I know. So that's part of why we're here at this event. Because we know that there are many ways to self-medicate. I've been, to, me I've been to meetings of, of over here. So fantastic. In New York. Well, we have them in Philadelphia too. That's great. You, know, you, you should really be in business big time because there's an obesity epidemic that's killing our whole country. It is. So that's part of why we're young doing people, this out. I'm 77. Most people, young people will not live to be my this age. This is true. Because and that's part of why we're doing this I would tell people McDonald's has killed more people worldwide than ever died in World War II. <laughs> good luck. Thank you for stopping by. Have a good day. Thank you very much. Have a good day. All right. You too.
Do they have a line up my mutt? Do you sell those magnets as well? Do you have an I Love My Mutt? Or are you only a snob with the pedigrees? We do carry I Love My Mutt. I hope so. Remember, know. half of the dogs are mutts and they're the best. I've had I've had all kinds of pedigree dogs, but the one that was the very best of all was a mutt. I, I really have too many on my... I just want to make sure that my mutt was included in your array of offerings. Thank you. Right there. Even atheists like me. Yes. And I support Sylvia Vera House, so she was the manager of my store. And Marsha B. Johnson was the house one of their extended gay family. All right. Like there's a, we're there for our church, and there's like a Jewish group that is inclusive. Nice. All right, you need a good one. All right, have a good day. You like this? You like this? Okay, I'm going to throw this out. That's interesting, Gay by God. I had a book called God is Gay. I had it as a decoration in my window. Everybody wants to see it. Okay. I never got around to reading it. It was just like... Are you one of the original marker? Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. I've been filming the film, the affair. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you for keeping things like this, you know, going. Listen, the Metropolitan Community Church, I remember when Troy Perry came out, he was a real blessing of the movement. Yeah. We had a real preacher and we had a place for people that were religious to go. And I was involved with the organized atheists, you want to know something? The organized atheists are worse than the born-again Christians. They're the most vicious, hateful people. I don't have anything to do with organized atheists anymore. I'm not a believer, but I'll tell you. Once it, uh, yeah, I think it's organized religion. No, I shouldn't it, say that. It must be about the community church. The screens of anything are very bad. You know? <laughs> I'll see you now. Thanks again. Thank you. Okay. Are you doing meditation yoga? <laughs> Oh. And radio.